Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to start moderator variable, a categorical variable through Amo software. So this one is the independent variable, dependent variable. This is the uh, this is our moderator variable. And moderator variable we have taken in this example gender. So here you you can see here uh, categorical moderator using Amos categorical moderator. I have sample size male in male category. Total sample size is one eighty, and uh, female respondents are one ninety one. So first of all, we are going to start. We would like to check. Uh, their significance value in SPSS file. I had already opened in my um, SPSS file and you can see here in my SPSS file, these are imputed values. I had already created earlier. That was the one model and these are the imputed values. And here you can see gender. So first of all, what we have to do, we will split this file gender wise. So what we have to do, we will go to data and we have to click here split file and uh, we will select here gender and we will shift. First of all, we have to click on compare groups and compare groups on what basis compare groups on the gender basis. So gender basis, we will shift. We, we will click, click this gender towards the right side. Then we have to press OK. So moment we will press OK, this data set is, we can see here, this file as R, you can see, is, is already split into two categories. And I had defined here what is one, what is two. So you can see here, I have defined one for male and two for female. So now we are going to start first of all regression so analyze then we will press regression then we have to go to linear and reset it and now you can see here what is our dependent variable these are imputed values so behavior intention is a dependent variable and perception about ev that is independent variable right so independent variable then we have to press okay so now you can see these are my results now these results are coming in two category male and female you can see male and female what is r in case of the male 0.921 and for r for in case of female respondents 0.952 so we would like to check whether these gender this gender is 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 having any significance as moderator in the value in between dependent and independent variables so this one is the um, you can see here male regression residual total right this is the ANOVA table and now last one is the these are our unstandardized coefficient and standardized coefficient this is the t value and this one is the significance and uh, in this case you can see here uh, both these uh, perception ev that is also significant and uh, in the case of the male that is again significant in both the cases this is significant so now what we have to do is suppose we would like to pursue only in the case of the spss so we have to click here uh, daniel super site right i had already explained you in my previous video uh, daniel super site you have to click here simply Daniel Super, right, dot com. Then you can press here, and uh, this one is the uh, you can just a moment, and we have to press. Here. So now you can see here free statistical calculators are available over here, and I would like to show you some how many calculators already available here. I have already shown you in my previous video also. But once again, let me explain you from where I have bought this calculator. So moment we will press, yes, Daniel Super site. So you can see here, there are number of the calculators available. Analysis of variance, beta distribution, chi-square distribution, confidence interval, contingency tables, correlation, error function, event occurrence, so many. But we want to check, we have to click here in regression because we are performing this moderation in regress, regression and we will click click here significance of the difference between two slope calculator right two slope cal calculator right 
so a moment you will open this uh, significance of the difference between two slope calculators so now what we have to do through my data i will put all these values what is the uh, number of the female and male right so number of male is uh, this one is the uh, we can say 189 and uh, 189 and uh, 179 and 191 i think we can 180 and something we can check here this one is the degree of freedom and uh, we can see here uh if find this is 179 correct one seven not 180 right so that means i had already defined here 180 and 191 so we will put these values in sample size line one so this one is the 180 in my case and uh, sample size two for female that is 191 and slope line for line one so we can see unstandardized values what are reflecting in my data and for male this is the this is the standardized value uh, unstandardized value 1.077 so i will put these values 1.077 and for the female category let me check here what are these values in the case of uh, female, um, these are the values 1.045 and we will put these values 1.0, and now standard error in case of, uh, in case of uh, male category. So standard, the, this one is the standard error point, point zero three four. correct, point zero three four, and I have to put these values 0 0.034 and in case of the female what could be the values now i have to put these values here and this one is in case of the female 0 0.024 so 0 0.024 so i will put 0 0.024 right and now i have to press calculate so now you can see what are the results results are Okay, fine. T value is 0 0.768. So I will copy these results right in my Word document. So where we can explain easily. So I had already pasted, right? So Daniel Super results are here. You can see here T value 0 0.768 and degree of freedom 367 and probability 0 0.442. That means clearly it is reflecting here null hypothesis is rejected. If T value, what will happen when we, we can accept when T value, T value, T value is greater than 1.94. In this case, only null hypothesis will be accepted. Null hypothesis accepted. Correct. Null hypothesis is accepted. Right. And uh, p value, p value, it is probability is 0 0.44. Right. What I written is the null hypothesis is i'm sorry this is this would be less than it would be less than 1.94 in this case only null hypothesis is accepted and p value p value p value means p value it when the p value is p value is greater than 0.05 greater than 0 0.05 in this case also null hypothesis null hypothesis is accepted right and null hypothesis what we said there is no significant difference in the male and female category right so that means in our case simply there is no role of the moderator in terms of gender why because t value that is less than 1.94 
right? So that is why null hypothesis accepted and p value is greater than 0 0.05. You can see here p value is greater than 0 0.05. In this case also, what we have to do, null hypothesis is accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected. So that means categorical moderator, we have we can discard this thing. I mean, there is uh, uh, gender wise, there is any moderation. So I'm sure through SPSS, now we will run same thing in our AMOS. Okay, fine. We will go to AMOS. We have to create a new file. New file we will open. Yes. So what I will do, new file we will open. Right. Now I will, before that, what we have to do. Um, okay. First of all, we will call one file, file name is, that is imputed, right? Imputed data is here. So I had called this file, open this file is here now. Now what I have to do, what I need, I need one dependent variable, one independent variable, right? So I will take it, Bivin intention is my depend, dependent variable and this one is my independent variable. I have taken both these things and now I will right now i will run this file so you can see here standardized estimates only i require output is uh, no minimization history i require right so simply uh okay fine and i will run this file okay fine sorry i forget it one error term right always required here uh, on the on the dependent variable and now name unobserved variable right and now i will run this file and first of all i have to save this file so moderation i will say this file name is moderation right and uh, i will say moderation 5 right and i have to save this file and now we can see these are these are the unstandardized value 1.06 we can see here 1.06 so let me okay fine so 1.0 right and now this is the for the for the complete file those are the total number of respondents Up now i would like to see in case of the male and in case of the female so what i have to do i will create there is groups right group one i will give group one is male right and another group i would like to create is female female right and now we will close and now what i have to do see mail you can see when i click on this mail complete data 371 by 371 complete data is reflecting so i have to split this thing so only i require in this category only male uh, respondents data and in this category i require only female respondents data so what i have to do i will group Grouping file name, I have taken this and grouping variable, right? Grouping variable on what basis? I want on the basis of gender, right? I had clicked on gender and group value, right? Uh, this one is the 180, okay, right? So now you can see here, out of 371, out of 371, 180 data is belongs to male category now i have to click here same process i would repeat grouping variable just a moment right see right Achha, first of all i will call a file impute again once again open right and now the same file you can see here 371 191 so this one is the automatically otherwise same step you can process like grouping variable and uh, this one is the on the basis of the gender you will press ok and uh, group value you have to define 191 and you will press ok and that same thing is reflecting here now ok um, now i would like to see this value uh, once again we will run this file and now you can see here this value only in case of female and when i will press male so this one is the 1.08 up now i would like to know whether these values are significant or not significant i mean whether there is the any role of the moderator or there is no role of the moderator so what i have to do we have to go to output you can see here we will go to output
and we can see here is output file is uh, right so estimates right you can see here this one is the perception ev uh, is our independent variable behavior intention r is dependent variable regression weight 1.07 that i have shown you over there right and when we talk about in case of the male and in case of the female you can see here in case of the female 1.045 and in case of the male that is 1.0 Seven and same thing you can do in the radial super um, radial super calculator and you have to put all these values and the same results you will get it over there and then you can find it whether these values are significant or these values are not significant. So through AMOS also we can just a moment we can run this thing. And uh, let me, in the output file, we can click on critical ratios for difference, right? In the output, what we have to do, we have to press here. And now once again, we will run this file. And now we will go to output and uh, we can see pairwise. Yeah, you can see here pairwise comparison. So you can see here, these are the critical ratio for differences between parameters. You can see here critical ratios for differences between parameters and the parameter one and parameter two. This one is the 0.77. So that means again it is showing if we would like to go there in Daniel Super, that was our, our, our results, right? 0.768. And the same results you can see here in our AMOS. And I will copy this file here. Copy and I will put it here in my Word document. And uh, then I'm sure there would be more clarity, right? And you can see here this value, this value. So now again, crit and this title is critical ratios, critical ratios for difference between parameters. So that is again, it is reflecting through AMOS this null hypothesis is rejected. Null hypothesis is accepted, sorry, and alternate hypothesis is rejected because T value is less than 1.94 here also. So I'm sure uh, this, while, this video will be helpful to you to understand how we have to calculate categorical moderator in AMOS through SPSS and as well as through AMOS also. That would be helpful. Thank you so much. Keep watching and I'm sure in the next video, I have to um, create a video on multicollinearity. Before starting formative model, I have to go to multicollinearity issue. First, we have to resolve multicollinearity issue. Then after that, I have to go for this one is the formative. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.